Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be creating a cool joystick all in Adobe XD using a new Morphism style. And here are some samples I created by just replacing the background with cool images. So, with that all being said, let's get started. Let's create a rectangle. Give it a size of 600 as the width and 450 as the height. Let's center the rectangle by clicking on the, um, the alignment options here. So the next thing we do is, um, let's try to get the center of the, sec uh, the rectangle, okay? So we want to create an anchor point uh, both at the top and the bottom of the rectangle. So double click on the rectangle Create an anchor point at the center, the top center, as well as the bottom center. You double click on each anchor point. That's the six anchor points we have. Okay, so you have a shape like this. And then you can select um, the left anchor and the bottom left anchor points as well as the right left anchor points by holding shift and clicking on both of them. And still holding shift, you would holding shift, you um, click on the down arrow. Let's click on it five times. Okay, or six times. All right, then you click on the, the bottom middle anchor point and move it up a little bit. Let's move it six times upward by holding shift and clicking on the top arrow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. And we click on the top anchor point, the center, and we move it downwards twice. Holding shift, that's two, two, 20 pixels downward, one, two, cool. So the next thing we'll do is give it a color. We'll move the border and give it a color. And the color we want to give this is a, a radiant color. That's a, um, a radial radiant color. Okay. So the outer color would be this. So you guys can just copy the extra um, color number and the inner color would be this okay so the so the outer what we can do is make the outer the in, outer color is a bit darker and the inner color lighter okay cool so now we have um the like the basic shape of the joystick the next thing we want to do start doing is creating the controls okay so click on the over shape let's just try it outside then we can just bring it back in um we're going to give a size of 130 on both the width and the height. Okay. And put it at the top left of the, the main shape. The color would be 2C, 2E, Three eight. We're going to move the border. So, like I said earlier, we what we want to create is uh, we, we want to create this joystick using the new morphism um, style. So we can just go to the the shadow. I'm going to give that um, little circle some shadows. 
so the color of the shadow is black we're going to give it three on the x axis five on the y axis and ten on the blur and the percentage of the transparency will be 30 percent okay the next thing we're going to do is duplicate that circle so we click on we hold ctrl z ctrl c and then ctrl v to duplicate it and for this we're going to change we're going to change the the settings of the shadow so we're going to give it white okay we're going to change the percentage of the opacity to 10 so it, it, it shouldn't be that bright and then on the y-axis we'll give it um, neg negative 5 okay right and 0 on the x-axis okay so now we have this cool um your your mephism style what we can also do maybe reduce the white color to around uh, seven or eight percent the opacity of the um the shadow okay so we can what we can do is try to group both together the both circles we just created And then we, we start creating the we start creating the um, the action buttons, which are the main um, the four buttons we usually have on the right hand side of the of the joystick. So you duplicate those grouped circles, and you reduce um, the size to let's say something about 45 but well, let's give it 50 50 on both the width and the height okay and then we'll take it up a little bit all right then we can duplicate it downwards by holding by holding alt and shift and dragging downwards Okay, there you go. Then we, we duplicate it again to the left. We want to make it align with the big um, circle we have over on the left hand side. I mean, you guys can just, you know, come up with a different style. So you don't have to follow um, me. okay so now we have the four buttons on each side all right it is cool next thing we're going to do is maybe we can bring this down a little bit all right so let's create the text that usually that's usually on the button that's the a b x and y letters so you click on the text and just click The font size is 20 and it's bold. I'm using poppins as the text, so you can use any 
um, like um, font family that you want. Okay. So yeah, we have X, and then we have Y. You just have to duplicate it and then and then change um, the letter. And then we, here we have B, and then we have A over here. And make sure they are centered, align. Okay, cool. The next step is creating the analog. So let's create a circle. Let's give it a size of um, 75. On both width and height, let's place it at the center, just yeah, and then we'll give it a color, a fill color, and then we change we duplicate um the big circle we have. Reduce the size to about 60 on the width and height. Okay, and just place it above the circle we created. So this just gives it uh, an illusion that is a little bit, a little bit elevated. What we can do is group both circles together and increase, make it a little bit bigger. Let's say 90. And then we can click on Alt and Shift and then drag to duplicate. and place it let's move it up a little bit both circles so what I'm doing is just um, grouping all these um, elements together so it's easy for me to move them okay so now we have the we have the um, main parts done um, what's left is just to create the direction button on the um, left hand side which is we should be on top of this um, circle that we have here okay so to create the direction button all we need to do is Create a rectangle. Okay. We can give the width 30 and the height, let's say 35. That's fine. You can give it whatever um, size you want. So we're going to create the same effect we created on this um, circle, we create it on the um, rectangle. But to do that, we need to um, 
manipulate the rectangle a little bit so we double click on it okay then we we'll create an anchor point just at the top center and then we we'll move it up a little bit so i move it five pixels upward i think that will do it and then you click on it what we want to do is give it a color the fill will move the border, give it a fill color. Okay. Give it a, a shadow. Two on the Y. And the blood to be five. As well as the, the percentage should be. 35 just to make it stand out a little bit okay so we're going to duplicate this shape we just created ctrl c and ctrl v on windows to do to cut and duplicate all right and we're going to give this shadow color to be white okay the shadow on the x as on the y axis should be negative two blood should be five and the percentage should be ten okay so you guys see um that the effect is similar to that of the circle so we can just um, group this for it to be easy to duplicate and move. Okay, so we control G to group and then duplicate it. Okay, and move it downwards and flip it vertically okay so we can click on both shapes now group it ctrl v and ctrl c to duplicate and then holding shift you can kind of rotate it yeah so that gives you the four directional buttons and then you can just adjust them a little bit just to create a little bit of space between them so now we have this Let's reduce it a little bit. So we have the directional buttons and we have the um, the main X, Y, A, B buttons. One thing you also want to do on this is give it a, a blur. So we're going to give those letters a blur just to make it shine a little bit. Or we're going to give it a shadow, a drop shadow of one on the y axis, five as the blur, white, and then the percentage of opacity should be around 40. Let's give it 40. So and this, this we can just copy the and paste appearance so i mean that's how we have to do so they are done 
I just want to make some few um, adjustments. Yeah, so that's it. Now we have the joystick. You guys can just um, drag um, an image and post it on this. Just to give it uh, a different um, design. We have a, a cool joystick that we can use for our web design or mobile design. So if you guys like this, please comment, share the video. Um, I'm going to be reading the comments. So if there are other tutorials you want me to kind of um, do. I would I would make that as a I'll take that as a request and do them. So comment, share and like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. See you next time.